welcome to this updated video. I hope you're doing really great this morning. And so we're going to be looking at the weather update for the region. But also there have been uh, several earthquakes within the last 24 hours. The strongest was an estimated magnitude 4.6. So we're going to be talking about that first. So this is a look at all the earthquakes within the last 24 hours of me recording this video. So most of these are quite weak and it is kind of normal for the vicinity of Hispaniola and Puerto Rico to be active with a few shakings every now and again, maybe every day, every other day there are a few shakings, but what is important is that they're weak and uh, that's great news. However, there was one just offshore Grenada, so this was the epicenter of it. And the epicenter is the point on the surface of the Earth that is directly above the focus. The focus is where the earthquake starts, where it uh, actually happens. So the epicenter is on the surface of the Earth. The focus is within the Earth where the earthquake began. So it was estimated to be a magnitude 4.6, pretty sizable, but it was also kind of deep. It wasn't a very, very shallow earthquake and the more shallow earthquakes are the more dangerous they are especially the stronger ones because uh those seismic waves they reach the surface very very quickly but when they're traveling from so deep uh some of that energy is lost so the full 4.6 shaken likely has not been felt by anyone however you may have felt a brief shaken or a jolt not only in grenada but even the grenadines as well and other surrounding areas you can let me know in the comments if you felt this quake but the reality of it is that the caribbean is very vulnerable and time to time we get these stronger shakings that are uh stronger than say magnitude four but most times there are these smaller earthquakes always happening every day but they're always happening guys the earth is always active and so uh, we just have to keep that in the back of our minds now what's happening in terms of weather conditions let's go on to it so here we're looking at the infrared weather satellite we can see that frontal system and uh, some of the activity extends to the vicinity of the turks and caicos islands where there are a couple of thunderstorms maybe some showers as well and uh the intertropical convergence zone is also active this morning we see all these thunderstorms happening all the way from africa uh in parts of the atlantic south america and over to the pacific Zooming into the Caribbean, there have been a few showers around here and there, nothing crazy going on across the region, no significant uh, source of rainfall right now, but there's been some showers around, there. Uh, there's been some decent downpours in areas such as Jamaica yesterday. Some of the parishes received some well-needed shower activity, I certainly did in St. James, so yeah, that's some great news. And as we're going to be heading through today, this is a look at the rainfall forecast from Euro. Well, into today and uh, very early tomorrow morning, we can see that this map is getting a little bit colorful here. For the uh, southern Bahamas and Turks and Caicos Islands, parts of eastern Cuba, as well as Hispaniola, especially for the Dominican Republic. So as we head through today, heading into later today, there could be some decent downpours within those areas, some uh, substantial rainfall activity. Heading to Jamaica, we're seeing those green shadings and even uh, some yellow spots popping up here and there. So there could be some more decent downpours as we head through today, but unlikely to be for the entirety of the island. Now for Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands and through the Lesser Antilles, a few showers may loiter around ABC Islands, much rain not expected. Guyana's similar story, although there may be some downpours in some areas and other parts of Venezuela, especially in the south. And then uh, into Colombia as well, there could be some substantial rainfall, some heavy rain in some areas, and that's already been happening. And then through Central America, a few showers may loiter around here and there. Uh, nothing crazy, same story, Cayman Islands and even uh, the offshore islands of San Andreas Providencia. But yeah, the, that frontal system is kind of the most significant thing happening right now in the vicinity of the Caribbean. And so as we take a look at the surface chart here, we can see the symbol that extends from the Atlantic through Cuba, uh, that diagonal line with those triangles. Now, let us go ahead and talk about the wind forecast for today. So as we're going to be heading into later this morning, it's going to be quite windy in the southeastern Caribbean, especially for the ABC Islands. So elsewhere, winds may be around anywhere from 5 going up to 10 or 15 knots 
but uh, this is going to be the windiest area in the Caribbean. So nothing too crazy today, guys. And uh, also there's the updated forecast from the Climate Prediction Center. So this is a look at the uh, probability of above or below average rainfall for the world. But of course, we're focusing on the Caribbean. So here we're looking at it. We're focusing on week two, which goes from March 27th through April 2nd. So end of March stuff here. And the green shading represents the chance of above average rainfall. So around the 50% chance of above average rainfall parts of Northern South America and the Eastern Caribbean. Here we see all the Lesser Antilles, uh, parts of Venezuela, the Eastern Venezuela, Guyana, sections of Suriname as well, and Brazil. So there is a chance of above average rain within this time frame here, and that would be great because it's no doubt that islands over in the east are definitely in need of some decent rainfall activity and so uh this kind of ties into what i was explaining to you guys yesterday as it relates to that upcoming frontal system this weekend which may result in a rainfall increase for the eastern caribbean so now that is highlighted on the map here but let's take a look at the latest runs from both euro and gfs because there have been some changes as i have uh highlighted that there could be changes through the week because uh, we're talking about model runs here and we're talking about uh for the next several days well so let's see what they have to show this is the latest gfs run and all those green shadings are indicating the precipitation and as we see those yellows reds popping up that is heavier rainfall and there we have the time so as we're going to be heading through the late part of the week there we see that system developing and uh stretching through parts of the northern caribbean likely bringing some rainfall activity and another area of low pressure forming with it so very interesting here and then as we're going to be heading into to the late part of next week we see that moisture low turn around near the eastern caribbean headed to thursday and uh, let's go on to what euro has to show here so euro is showing something pretty much similar to gfs there we see that energy moving through the gulf that low pressure area developing all the associated rain moving through uh parts of cuba going toward the bahamas turks and caicos Hispaniola, puerto rico and the leeward islands we see all of that rain stretching through with that system as we're going to be heading into next week so euro is showing something a little bit similar here to gfs and it's really just to wait and see what happens but as i said i'll be keeping you guys posted on what the models are showing so uh, there is some consistency as it relates to yes that next front is going to be making its way through but uh, in terms of the magnitude of the impacts for the caribbean that's not really solid just yet so i will be keeping you guys posted as per usual and that is it for this update video. That's what I wanted to share with you. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll respond when I can. And remember to always be weatherwise.